In a step towards allowing banks to sell products of multiple insurers, Govardhan Committee report has suggested a limited open architecture. According to the report, banks should be allowed to sell products of two sets of insurers in the life insurance, non-life insurance and health insurance segment. Currently, one bank can sell products of any one company in the life insurance as well as the non-life insurance space. If the recommendations are accepted, this would mean more choice for the customers, but the industry seems to be divided on open architecture. Insurers who have a banking partner are apprehensive. A bank needs to be able to sell the product which is appropriate to the customer and not necessarily uh, motivated by the uh, commission or the return that the bank may get from different companies. Uh, therefore, also it is extremely important uh, to ensure that uh, when, uh, uh, you know, when open architecture is introduced, the customer's interests are protected and uh, the products which are in the interest of the customer also rather than uh, so it becoming a commission driven game for the banks. But for insurers who are not promoted by any bank, an open architecture is a welcome move. It is a fact that there are different companies who have different specialities. There may be somebody who is good at pension, somebody who is good at protection and term business, somebody who is good at child plans, etc. etc. And it's only fair that the customer be given a wide array of choices, exactly similar to what is happening in mutual funds. If you want an ELSS, the company, the bank recommends one product. If you want a debt product, it's another company. And you know, structured product could be a third company. So an open architecture allows also the bank to give the customer the best product which is necessarily suited. You don't, don't necessarily have to sell all products of all companies, mm -hmm. but think of a scenario where the bank could cherry pick and say, okay, I'll offer a term, term insurance of this company and an endowment of this company and a pension of that company, rather than saying everything you have to buy only from one company, which may not be in the consumer's best interest.